Omar Epps is a multi-talented actor, producer, and author, and his latest novel, Nubia the Reckoning, tells the story of three young Nubians with extraordinary powers in a futuristic, dystopian New York City, and we are so excited to talk with him now. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I, mean, I love that we're acting like we haven't been talking throughout yes. all of this. I'm so excited to be here. Let's set up this book. I know this is the second in the series. Yeah. I will say, I don't think you need to have read the first to understand the second. I just want to throw it out there. That's great. So let's 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 tease this book. Yeah, Nubia is uh, about these three young teenagers in a dystopian, futuristic New York City, and they're trying to figure out life, and they have powers that start to sprout, and so they're trying to figure out what's going on, because no one's told them about their heritage, and so that's sort of the first book. The Reckoning is you pick up right at the end of the first book, and they know what their powers are, and now it's a, a choice of what are they going to use them for. For yeah. good or for other. It is so cool. I recommend reading it or or doing the audio book and closing your eyes and imagining the world because you paint such an awesome picture for us. Thank you. Now, I know that you're welcome. I know that you had said that you wish this book was around when you were younger. Yeah. Why? Well, just uh, escapism. You know, we're, we're born where we're born. We're raised where we're raised. And um, I wasn't particularly, particularly like into sci-fi per se, but just stories that sort of took me out of my environment and got my imagination going. And um, I, I think we sort of achieved that with Nubia. Yeah, I absolutely did. Here's the thing. You're a New Yorker. You were born here, right? Yeah, yeah. This book, I mean, you create this universe, but it is set in New York. Yes. So, like, are you walking around the city as Omar Epps and, like, this idea pops up? Or, how, like, how did this, how did the city plan to it? How did it all come together? Because well, I can't look at Central Park the same. Right. <laughs> after after this. Well, the city is a, uh, New York City is where I'm born and raised. So, Innately, it was another character. I, I was envisioning this futuristic world and what better place than, I feel like, my backyard. I, this is one place, no matter how many new buildings they build, I know where I'm at at all times. Mm -hmm. I know it like the back of my hand. So geographically, it just made sense to me. Um, and, and we try to we give sort of like a guide map in the beginning for the reader so they get a sense of, oh, okay, this is what Midtown is like now. This is what Lower Manhattan is like now. And the classes in between and all of those sort of things. Do you have character, like the actors in mind? Because here's the thing: there's certain books that you read, great books. There are certain books you read and you see it. This one, it's definitely going to be a series. Or would you want it to be a series or a movie? Yeah, both. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yes. Let's go. Do you have actors in mind? Honestly, I do. People ask me that oh. question a lot. I don't. I'm, I'm actually excited about the prospect of finding fresh faces, yeah. new talent. Um, so I don't have any. I just hopefully I can be in one of them. I was going to say. I was going <laughs> to say. Would you put your Yourself in it because I feel like I grew up with you. I'm thinking Thank you. Jews, I'm thinking love and basketball, some of my favorite movies of all time. You would yeah. put yourself in it? I would hope so. I mean, you which, know. Which, you know, which, which character? That I don't know. Okay. I don't know which character, okay. but some, I mean, hey, if I'm just guy number over there walking around, I'd be happy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so another friend of our show is a friend of yours, mm -hmm. Omar, uh, Omar Epps. Oh, right here. Marlon Wayne. The Wayne's. other Omar Epps. Yeah. <laughs> Marlon Wayne. Yes. He's a riot. Yes. You guys went to school together? Yeah, yeah. We grew up together. We we went to uh, performing arts high school, LaGuardia. And, I gotta hear uh, a story. I can't. I cannot. Uh, just too even many. He's, he, let me put it to you this way: He is the same since we were 12 years old. He's it's he's been the same. He just has a his his on switch never goes off. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pry first. I just feel like there's something so good in there. I don't know if there's any we could tell you on TV. You just pick a subject. Yeah. I mean, it's you know he's. Marlon's a great human being, wonderful yeah. family, and, and uh, you know, I call him a brother brother from another. And uh, we grew up together, and we've been able to, uh, you know, be successful yeah. together as I, well. I want to see a comedy with the two of you in it yes. after this gets made. Yes. All right. All Me right. too. Well, Nubia the Reckoning is out now. You can catch Omar at the Brooklyn Book Festival this Sunday. For more info, head to brooklynbookfestival.org. Thank you so much, and thank, thank you for you. this book. I'm thank truly you for enjoying me. it.